Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss about a cotton like white thing which you can see in your mouth and you are not really feeling good about it and that white patch can be really troublesome. So friends today we are going to speak about candidiasis or a white patch which feels like cotton in your mouth. Come let us have a look at this today's video. Subscribe to my channel Dr. Mansi Shah for oral health care videos and tips. Hello and a very happy morning to all of you and here you are on my show Monday mornings with Mansi and my YouTube channel Dr. Mansi Shah. So friends today we are going to discuss about candidiasis. Candidiasis is nothing but a fungal infection. Fungus, burshiana, a growth of something which is not normal in your mouth. It feels like cotton growing in your mouth, very soft soft but it is very painful when removed. So that kind of fungus is called as candidiasis and it is caused by a fungus which is called as candida albigans in the mouth. So friends this fungus is nothing to be much worried of. It can easily be uh, cured and you can get back to your healthy skin. Remember it is not precancerous or this does not really turn into cancer unless and until it, uh, it is a secondary infection that is you already have a underlying leukoplakia, lichen planus or cancer already and on this the candida the fungus is growing on that infection then only the cells are turning cancerous or this is just a normal fungal growth otherwise. Now Friends, how are you supposed to diagnose what exactly it is? So candida albicans, the main thing is this white thing or the white patch in your mouth can easily be scraped off. It can easily be removed. But once it is removed, the, uh, there are some bleeding spots that you can see under that white thing. And the, that bleeding spots are quite painful and they do cause burning sensation. Please, this is a warning sign that this is just a differential diagnosis that is how you can differentiate from everything else and candida please do not try scraping candida at home and treating yourself that is not going to work it is going to worsen your candida there are certain medications proper care and treatment and then how you can treat this okay so um, first let us move to causes of how is this candida caused the main reason poor oral hygiene and in that decreased immunity so poor oral hygiene not brushing properly not keeping your teeth clean not massaging your gums well not using mouthwashes if required that is how it is going to cause candida now I uh, definitely recommend every six months you visit your dentist if you have any plaque calculus build up get it cleaned and that is how you can stay away from this candida now the next target audience is babies and the old people. So the two age groups which is commonly seen is babies and the older age group. So first coming to babies, it is either uh, because their mouth is not kept clean, they are feeding, the mother uh, nipples is having uh, fungal growth, the mother nipples is having candidiasis and that is how it is passed to the baby. Or it can be other way around also the baby is having uh, fungal growth because of not keeping good oral hygiene like wiping the mouth after every uh, feed keeping uh, if the mouth is dry then keeping uh, trying to keep it moist um, so toddlers and babies they are most commonly affected yes it can pass from baby to mother also and then the cycle goes on mother to baby but baby to mother so this is how the cycle goes on in them. The next is the older age group which is very commonly affected and that is because of the dentures. So dentures, yani complete denture, it can be partial denture. So dentures, yeah, curvy. This dentures, if they are not properly cleaned and you are just keeping them, wearing them day, all day, all night, then you can have this candida growing in them. Remember that you should remove your dentures, clean it, brush it like you brush your own teeth, dip them the water for night, use denture or cleaning uh, tablets once in 15 days at least 
clean key credentials, clean and bacteria and fungus free. And then wearing your dentures, it is, that is how it is going to help. Yes, sometimes denture, if it is causing trauma, then very rarely also this fungus can grow. The next is decreased immunity. If your immunity goes down, you can't get, come in contact with this fungus, then you can have it. The next is if you are uh, have, using a lot of antibiotics, taking a lot of antibiotics, um, then some ACE inhibitors, some beta blockers, then also this kind of fungal growth is seen. And uh, a lot of antibiotics can cause this fungal growth because your original uh, microorganisms, good micro healthy microorganisms, they start getting killed and then it is uh, difficult for the body to have a good defense mechanism. So avoid taking self prescriptions because they are never good. Then uh, if you have, as I said, a pre-cancer, earlier there is some cancer, precancerous lesions and then on this the candidiasis is growing, then uh, it can be seen. The next reason is diabetes where already the immunity of the uh, body has gone down, you are prone to more of infections, then you can catch the Candida albicans. Now how do you differentiate it? So as you, uh, as you know that the age group, uh, the leukoplakia or um, lichen planus is seen in the middle age group. Here the babies in the old age group is much more affected. Also this can be easily scraped off so this is how you can differentiate other white patches and the candida patch. But in any kind of white patch you are being diagnosed, please go and visit your dentist. They are going to be the best person to help you out. If you need any help, here is my email address. You can anytime message me. I am a dentist practicing in the city of Pune. You can definitely visit my clinic. My clinic is in Kondwa. So you can definitely visit me. Um, so now coming to the treatment part, what exactly is going to be the treatment? Yes, definitely the cause has to be removed and it, it is going to be healed. That is maintaining good oral hygiene, getting your teeth cleaned professionally, undergoing scaling if required, professional cleaning. That is how it is going to improve your hygiene. Post that, brushing twice, flossing your teeth and if the dentist is recommending you a particular mouthwash, if it is required, then using it, that is how it is going to help. Intake of more vitamin A, E and C is going to improve the skin of uh, the health of your skin inside your mouth. So eating more of um, citrus and carrots, lemons, raw vegetables. This is how it is going to help your lesions heal. Then um, at home, you can have salt water, warm water and salt rinses. This is how, um, with that, uh, the candida is going to, you know, it just gets sterile and it will get help to get removed off. Then there are medicines. Medicines I'm not going to discuss here because I will say, please avoid self-medication. Go visit your dentist and find the right medication according to you. But it is an antifungal which is prescribed to you. And this does not require any other intervention. It just goes off if the cause is removed. So make sure that you get the proper diagnosis and then treat yourself. Wishing you all a very happy and a healthy smile and teeth. Hope you all stay healthy, stay happy and stay over fit. Thank you.